My name is Mosa Anita Kaiser. I was born and raised in Free State in a small town called Lady Brand, very tiny little suburban town. Like I come from a mixed race family and I happen to grow up around a lot of different like ethnicities and races. I have very particular driven interests, I guess, artistically, and I guess that feeds into my personality because I like like obscure things usually. I like to think of art as a language. It's because when you th talk about things like visual literacy, art is really kind of a language and therefore like a tool in communicating. I'm kind of using a different lighting technique where you use different lighting, like you filter the light with different colors, so then this background it won't look yellow, it'll like be various different colors. So I'm using it as a backdrop to play with colors. I've kind of found that a lot of my work does deal with like spiritual matters or engaging with things that relate to one's spirituality. Also identity, like I said, I think that's a big thing for most artists. It's always exploring one's identity or one's place in society. My main thing is photography. It's the place where I guess it's my comfort zone, what I'm most accustomed to and what I think I'm the best at. I think it's a very, like, it's a very intuitive thing because I've, I've tried to see, kind of experiment with other things and I find myself always coming back to photography. Okay, let's <laughs> come back. Can you lift your arms up? What I really like about it is just, it's just so interesting for me to see the ways you can use to communicate and like tell stories and tell narratives and start conversations and art is something that usually makes people emote, like touches people on a deeper level. So it's a way to communicate on a very deep level. Naturally, after all the struggles to grow it. Oh, the coconut oil. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm doing it now. Yeah. Apparently, after 30 years, it helps. Can you move more that way, but like stand closer? In engaging the female nude, I wanted to get particular body types that I personally related to. So people who had bodies that either were similar to mine or had attributes that I felt were similar to mine in terms of size, in terms of things like, I guess, stretch marks, cellulite, shapes. Because, I mean, I think it's very obvious that the female nude and just general female body in not just art but in media, it's kind of been only a certain type of body that's presented. I think the art world can sometimes be a bubble and I don't want to kind of get stuck in existing only in one space and only affecting this one space. I kind of want to branch out and be as relatable and interchangeable in all these different worlds, if I say as I can. <laughs> 